everybody, this is Laura Robertson with Keller Williams Realty. I am here with Jeff Willis, who has been my go-to electrician for the last 10 years, I believe. Uh -huh. And we're here today at a property, and it has some, a unique situation with the electric panels and a couple panels that we need to talk about. So uh -huh. can, you, can you explain the situation here? Certainly. These, uh, both of these breaker panels uh, will show up on an inspection report every time there's a home inspection done. This one on the left is a Federal Pacific. It's easy to identify with the red switches on the breakers. Uh, this one went out of production in the very early 80s. They lost their UL listing because the breakers don't. Uh, trip is designed when they're, when they're under a fault, and also a lot of times when you take the panel cover off, the breakers will pop out. Uh, this one is what is a, a Zensco breaker panel. It's, it's manufactured, or it used to be manufactured by Sylvania, who makes light bulbs now, and similar issues. Uh, the breakers won't trip under a fault, they'll, they'll just overheat and, and potentially cause a fire in the house. Uh, this one as well has been discontinued uh, for obvious reasons. And uh, if, if you have these in your home, you don't have to wait until you sell the house to replace them. It's, it's a safety hazard. Get, get, these, get these guys replaced. It's unusual to have both of them in the same uh, house like this, but uh, uh, convenient for our purposes because we can explain both of them. If we were going to replace this breaker panel, or both of these breaker panels, we would only put one new breaker panel in to uh, in incorporate everything. This one would be gone, there'd be a little cosmetic work that needed to be done with the drywall and some painting, but there would only be one main breaker box with a main breaker, new circuit breaker, so uh, if there was a fault on a circuit at some point in the future, the breaker would trip as designed. Uh, this particular house has an underground electric service. The meter base is on the other side of this panel and the panel being located in the garage, it makes this one a fairly easy upgrade. Um, all we have to do is add some supplemental grounding and replace the main service grounding to the water heater or the closest plumbing line uh, per code and uh, it's good to go. Um, permits required, we get an inspection after the fact, but the, the work is done, uh, started and completed all in one day. I agree with you. Don't wait until you have to home inspection or you're buying a house or selling a house. Do it, do it early and do it because it's for your family's safety. Yeah. So, um, if, uh, Jeff, can can people get an estimate or absolutely? Yeah, you know, you're absolutely. Uh, uh, I'll do a free estimate and assessment of uh, what your electrical system is uh, includes now. Uh, and uh, all you got to do is call. Great, excellent, and dude, he's great. You're my go-to guy. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a good day.